Hi friends, so I'm going to be doing a in-depth tutorial on how I do my go-to makeup look. If you hear my chair, it's annoying, I know. When I start off first, I start off with my eyebrows first. I use like three mirrors when I get ready. A big mirror in front of me, I have this mirror, and then I also use I also use my little mirror so I could get up close. So yes, I do need three mirrors to get ready. Everybody does their makeup differently. This is how I do my makeup. Um, um, and if you wanna see how I do my makeup, keep on watching. So I have all my makeup brushes in here. I got this bag off Amazon, I love it. Um, because I'll take it traveling with me and I also use it every day or like this is what I store my makeup brushes in. Um, I used to have my makeup brushes like in holders on the side of my vanity but what I noticed is that they would collect dust so this is why I keep them in here so that way um, they don't collect any unnecessary dust. I just open it up and I set it right in front of me. So I kind of have them like organized. I have all my eye brushes over here. I have all my face brushes on this side so i first start off with my eyebrows like i said and i use a clean spoolie every single time i have a whole little thing of spoolies so i use a new one every single time I, when you use a dirty spoolie your eyebrows get crusty especially with what i use I use the got to be gel and if you use this with the dirty spoolie your eyebrows will get flaky and crusty and that's why I use a clean spoolie every single time so all I do is I put a little bit on my brush I kind of wipe it off in the back of my hand I always use the back of my hand for everything and I always use a makeup wipe to clean off the back of my hand so I just Start. I do have my eyebrows laminated and with this you have to work pretty fast. I brush my hairs all the way up like that. <laughs> they kind of look funny. Trust the process. And then I like flatten them out with the back of the spoolie. And then I do it again. And then I just go sideways. Hold on. I brush them sideways. And I don't fill in my eyebrows. This is literally all I do. Okay. There we go. Do you see it? Then I do the same to the other one. The next thing I use, I use micellar water and I put some on a Q-tip because the gel does get a little bit, um, it does get messy so I clean around it with the micellar water because then if you don't clean it up, um, your makeup is just gonna look like patchy right there okay after that i go in and conceal my brows i only conceal the bottom of my brows if you do conceal the top of your brows you do want to use your foundation shade and i am gonna go with like a lighter concealer shade I don't use anything to fill in my brows. I think my brows are pretty full. Um, my natural brows. I use concealer to prime my eyes also. I like to do my eyes. I like to finish my eyes first and then do my whole face. I go in with my pressed powder, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in shade 2 medium. So I just use that. I, I set my concealer with that. For this makeup look, all I'm going to use is bronzer as my eyeshadow. So I just use, I'm using the Juvia's Place bronzer in shade tan. And I just get a little fluffy brush and just, and I just do this just to warm it up just so it's not 
concealer, you know? And then I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner and my this is how I do my eyeliner. I use a felt tip, look down, and you wanna see, you wanna pay attention to your eye shape. Look down. And this is where my eyebrow ends, right? This is where my eyebrow ends. So I want to go towards that way. I don't want to go too up. Like, I don't want to go too up that way. I want to go just about where my eyebrow ends. So, like this. And then... Connect it down. And then you just fill it in. Do the same. So that's how I do my eyeliner, real quick, real easy. After that, we're moving on to our face. So our eyes are done. For my face, I already moisturized with this. I get this at Target. I do have oily combination skin, so that's exactly what it's for. I love this moisturizer. I spot pie my face. So on my T-zone, like on my nose, I get really, really oily, and on the rest of my face, I don't really have a problem with that. I use a one size secure the sweat primer. I totally recommend this primer if you get really really oily. You squeeze a little bit, you warm it up. You have to warm it up on your fingers and then just apply it on your you could put it all over your face, but I like to spot prime. So I just put it on my nose. I get a makeup wipe and I wipe my fingers because let me tell you why. I wasn't doing this. I wasn't cleaning off the primer off my hands and I was mixing it with the primer that I always use, which is the e.l.f. Hydro Grip. I was mixing them and it was um, patchy. Like they don't combine well together. So it was making my makeup come off. Like it was patchy. Um, it, they just didn't mix, mix well. I still do use both, but I don't. I, that's why I wipe off my hands. I put the e.l.f. This is a really good primer. Well, and then I just put it on the rest of my face. I just am a little bit careful more right here. It's really tacky. I like that. Then you wait a little bit and you let the primer sit in. I do something that is called underpainting. So I cream contour before I apply my foundation. I'm going to go back to this natural palette from Beauty Creations and the brush that goes with it. I get the darkest shade in the palette and I just and I put it everywhere that I want to contour. I like doing this because when I apply my bronzer, my powder bronzer, it doesn't make me look muddy. I don't have to be super super like careful and gentle like if I mess up like whatever, you know, like but I just feel like this is fast. Okay. <laughs> you see? Okay. You can put as much as you want. And I just like to do this. I really love this um, palette. Okay. Then I just contour a little bit. Oh, wait. Sounds a little too light. I know I look silly, but it's gonna all come together. My favorite foundation right now is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear 
foundation and my shade is Punjab I recommend you to use a clean beauty blender every single time wash your beauty blender don't use a dry beauty blender don't spray your beauty blender with just setting spray like it doesn't work the same as a clean damp beauty blender clean it with whatever you clean your makeup brushes with trust me I feel like that's the key to a flawless foundation application don't just use it dry or dirty Girl, I'm gonna clip my hair back because I don't want to get it in my face. So I use about Three pumps this one pumps really a little bit and I just apply it with my finger One thing that I can say is I do get my foundation a little bit lighter than my body. It pre it matches pretty well, but I do get it a little bit lighter than my body just because I used to get a foundation that was a the color of my arm and I would still use banana powder. I would still cream contour. I would still bronze. And so then my face would be a whole different shade than my body. So that is why... I get my foundation a little bit lighter than me um, just so I can because I like to cream contour I like to um, use banana powder um, for it to all balance out that's why I get my foundation shade a little bit lighter it matches pretty well but like I can't wear it by itself you know so that's what I'm talking about I know there's a lot of people out there that don't really like to cream contour and do all that like they just kind of just they just put on foundation and blush and you know like my mom does not cream contour every single time she does her makeup so that's why i'm saying <laughs> that's why i'm throwing that out there so it is a little bit lighter than me like i can't just walk out the house like this like I'll, i look a little silly you know after that i go in with my maybelline age rewind concealer and it's in the shade 160 and it has like a pink tint I love a pink under eye, so that's why I put this one under my concealer. I love these concealers, the e.l.f. hydrating concealers. The ones with the white cap, not the black cap. I don't like the black cap ones. Um, the white, okay, this one is in shade light beige. And I like to put it right here for extra coverage. And it has more of a yellow tint. And then I like to put it under my contour. I let my concealer dry a little bit so that way um because if you put your concealer on and you go in right away to blend it it's just it's still too wet and it's gonna be like it's gonna go everywhere you know and most of the product is gonna get soaked up into your beauty blender or your brush so that's why I wait for it to dry a little bit to get the most coverage I blend out the Maybelline one I use the e.l.f. Okay, I use the e.l.f. The same one in shade Light Peach. So this one has like a more pink undertone and it's way brighter. So, put some right there. Right there. Right there. Okay. By that time, right here it should be dry enough. Okay, what the hell? I get a brush and I just blend the bottom out. I love to do my makeup in comfy clothes, so that's why I'm doing it in comfy clothes. These are the shirts that I used to wear my pop ups. <laughs> And I'm using a Brows by Julie R07 brush to blend out my concealer. We're going to use powder puffs. Powder puffs are my favorite to set my face. So I use, I'm going to be going in with the Beauty Bakery translucent powder. This is in the shade Oat. And we're going to set our under eyes with that. Before, um, you want to make sure and... Blend your concealer again. Blend your concealer and then go ahead and set it right away because you don't want to set creases. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like that. I love setting my under. I want to like 
melted in in the skin on your nose because of course you want to set above your right here. then you're gonna kind of set your whole face with that powder puff you're gonna go in with your press powder we're gonna go in back to the, with the charlotte tilbury press powder we're gonna use like a big old fluffy brush and we're gonna pat that powder in and at the same time dust off that translucent powder So then after that, this is where we bronze. So we're going to go in with the Juvia's Place Bronze Tan in shade tan. I love these bronzers. I'm very picky with my bronzer because a lot don't blend. Like they're hard to blend. I'm going to go in with the Morphe brush. I honestly don't even know the name. I have to do my research on it, but it's my favorite bronzer brush ever. And then I just kind of tap it in and... Do like circular motions and I'm going in with the first color this one on the top okay for that we're gonna go in with the morphe times aerial uh, brush this is a 58 and we're gonna go in to the darker shade and we're gonna kind of deepen that contour up a little bit but with the light hand Because you don't want it to look muddy. After that, we're going to go in with the Beauty Creations Water in Shade Honey Me. And this has like a yellow undertone. Okay. This has a yellow undertone. So we're going to get a little bit and clean up the contour. After that, I go back into the light shade. And I kind of just... Go over my nose with that bronze with that shade so that way my nose isn't super washed out. Then I use like another brush if you want to go back in and you know kind of contour a little bit more. Then I go back in with that same honey me shade and just clean up my nose. After that, I go in with the same brush that I used for the pressed powder and I just blend everything in. Okay. I go in with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatch and this is in the shade Pound Cake. Grab it in my Makeup by Ariel brush in the shade a 14 just get some a little bit and this is used to like brighten up your under eyes and right here too the blush palette that i'm using is mine which is restocking very very soon i'm so excited um and i just literally go in with all like i go I just tap into all of them. And the brush that I'm using is Makeup by Ario in A32. I feel like I look so dumb when I'm putting blush on. This is the palette. It comes with four colors. I love it. And a big old mirror. I love it. Don't forget to put bronzer under because we don't want this, like, your under eyes to look bald. So I'm going to go in and... Put a little bit of bronzer. My favorite setting spray is the one size. This is my favorite setting spray, the one size on till dawn. But before I use that setting spray, I use a setting spray like MAC Fix Plus. Because I MAC Fix Plus, I feel like it melts your makeup and makes it look not cakey. It just, I love it. We want our makeup to melt. Okay. 
Then we're going to use the one size. And this is what will keep your makeup on all day. Woo! Tastes like hairspray. <laughs> it smells like hairspray. Now we're going to put on our lashes. Okay. Um, I'm going to be using the duo glue. This one. Look down. And you're going to want to place them in the middle of your eye. Oh, whoa. Hold on. Stick it in the middle and then stick it at the end and then the inner corner. That's all. Well, that's it for my makeup routine and this is how it came out it takes me about like an hour to do my makeup it takes me about like an hour and like 15 minutes to do my makeup um but yes look at how it looks thank you guys so much for watching i hope i put you guys on to a couple products that if you guys end up purchasing any of the products that i use i hope you guys like them and it works for you guys but thank you guys so much for watching like this video and subscribe to my youtube